Hello again, Parker here, and I have been looking forward to sharing secret number two with you, just like I promised to do. Now, if you remember in secret number one, we talked about this, we introduced this distinction of separation. There's, there's the separate I, the separate self that interacts with the world or interacts with um, prospects, interacts with people in business deals. And then there's the other perspective which in which there is no separate self. There's no I and you, there's only we. In other words, it's no ego, it's we go, okay? The ego, that thing that we're pointing at when we say the word I, the ego is an illusion, it's made up. It doesn't actually exist in reality. It only exists in our own thinking, in our own heads, and in language. Do you think a tree that has no language, a tree can't talk? Do you think a tree gets all stuck in its head and thinks it's this separate, this separate version? No, that only happens in language and it only happens in our heads. We've got these lizard brains that are designed for survival and the good news is everybody's got it. So when you raise your level of consciousness and get out from under that survival pull that's happening subconsciously inside of all of our minds, when we get out from under that, there's a whole lot of freedom that opens up and we become uh, we have the ability to take any stance that we want to take because who you really are is constituted by whatever stance you take. It's just a matter of having enough consciousness, enough awareness to intentionally create a stance to come from that is effective and that is powerful. So secret number two is this. You're trying to cut, we are trying, people are trying to cut, like imagine you're trying to cut bread or cut butter with a knife, but it's upside down. Can you cut it up with the knife upside down? Yeah, you can, it takes a lot of force and a lot of energy. But when you simply turn it around and use the sharp side, you, man, you can cut, you can cut through it just like butter. You can cut through it so nice and smooth and easy. Well, that's what it's like when you're operating from inside your own head and in, in ways in which you don't see and you get out from in your world and you get over and look at the, look at the sale or look at the negotiation, look at the deal from the perspective, only from the perspective of the other person. If you can get out of your head and out of your way enough to see it from their view, as if their view is the only view, which you and I both know their view isn't the only view and maybe it's wrong part of the time, but it really doesn't matter. You've got to speak into their listening so that they hear it and you've got to get what their worldview is first. And the only way we can do that is with questions, but so often we don't want to ask questions. We want to tell them what is so. We want to tell them how we see it and we just can't fight that urge. We just can't get over that urge to just say something when we shouldn't be saying anything, but we should be really getting in their world through our listening so that when we do speak, we can speak into their listening so that it lands for them, so that it's impactful, so that it connects. That is secret number two of how do we become more, how do we tap into, how do we access the more naturally influential version of ourselves? And so go and practice that and start thinking about that uh, today uh, in your life, in your enrollment conversations, in any negotiations you're in. And I look forward to sharing video three with you or secret number three with you tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm gonna share with you specifically how to get out of your head, a practice that will help you get out of your world into the other person's world so that you can hear and listen for their listening so you can speak into it. And when you're speaking into it, you're speaking in from a position and from a perspective of a win-win deal here or no deal. It's gotta be a win-win or no deal. It's gotta be everybody wins or we don't even do a deal. I don't need the deal. We don't even say that necessarily, but we just, we come from there so powerfully that we don't even have to say it. People wanna buy from somebody who doesn't need the deal. 
there's so much less resistance in the way of them, your, your, your prospect, getting the clarity in their mind that they need when you're not needing to do a, a deal or needing to do a sale, when you can be there of complete service. And so that's what we'll be going over tomorrow and I look forward to seeing you then. All right, bye.